everybody. I am Ray from Empower Evolution. How you doing? <laughs> well, today I am discussing Esther 8. Now, a lot of y'all wonder, why is she always, why is she always teaching this prophetic word in her car while she's driving? Everything I do is prophetic. Um, everything. Everything in my life is a prophetic word, actually, for the entire world. Um, because I am the prophet of the Lord, not just a prophet. And so the reason why I had God had, and you know, I don't always know why he has me do things when he has me do them, but I do know that he will have me teach the word, the prophetic word often as I'm driving, because he says that this word is a word that is moving and propelling the people forward into a new paradigm, that they are moving from one location to the next location. So literally, as I am teaching the word, I am literally showing the word. Um, I am a descendant of prophet Jeremiah and prophet Jeremiah was a prophet that literally showed the word of God. And it's kind of interesting. I've noticed, and I didn't even know he uh, was having me do that until now recently and then able to put it all together and say, aha, uh -huh, okay, God, I see that you are really having me enact the actual thing that we are facing, the actual paradigm shift, the evolution, even him um, having me name this ministry, Empower Evolution. I didn't quite understand. I even grappled with that evolution part but he pressed it in my spirit that that is what the name must be. It's evolution. And now I see that we are actually in a process of evolution all over the world with the coronavirus, that it is really calling us to step up and stand in our authority with pow, power, with prophetic overcoming winning warrior power in the Holy Spirit. And we are being elevated to become healers, to manifest miracles, to manifest healing, to speak prophetically over our lives and our circumstances. We are calling to be, we are being pressed from the inside out to stand in our authority as true royal children of God. And those that can't and that will not will be weeded out. Um, not necessarily meaning um, dying. Okay, let's not be dire. But by it turning, I see it turning upside down. I see paradigm shifts turning upside down. So those that can't elevate, that are still holding and clinging on to the way things were done in the past, that don't know the new language, that don't understand how to connect spiritually uh, in ascension process, that don't understand that concept, they will die out um, of the paradigm, not more, not you know, mortally like death. It's not mortal combat in that sense. It is mortal combat though. It's mortal combat in a spiritual sense, but not a physical is what I'm saying. So, but we are being pressed to lay hands on the sick and see them actually be healed. And I have been teaching since October, how to empower you to be healers, how to empower you to be prophets, how to empower you to stand in the anointing and the royal, um, to under your royal crown. That is why this virus is called the coronavirus. This virus is the crown virus. It's the coronavirus because it is literally here to help you stand up as royal, help to help you stand up in your crown. That is why God has allowed it. He did not create it, but he has allowed it. So really quick, I'm going to read this verse and then I'm going to drive and teach you the uh, what God is te wants me to tell you. Um, it is Esther 8, and 8 is significant of new beginnings. And so today I'm going to reveal a secret of Esther that many people have never shared, but God gave to me. That same day, King Xerxes gave Queen Esther the estate of Haman, the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came into the presence of the king, for Esther had told how he was related to her. The king took off his signet ring and, and Mordecai was Esther's like, you know, uh, you know, mentor and he was her uncle and he was the one that took care of her when she was orphaned and, and because of this, um, war and isolation and the splitting apart that all the Jews went through families were dispersed and, and, and things like that. And so he took care of her 
And he was the one that told her, you need, you're, you have been called for such a position as this. You have been called to influence the king to protect our people from annihilation. And so when Esther told the king that th it was this man that, you know, was there for me and all that, the king took off his signet ring, which he had reclaimed from Haman, their enemy, the one that was out there uh, building gallows to hang Mordecai, hated Mordecai because he knew Mordecai was his spiritual enemy. And, present, and the king took that ring and presented it to Mordecai. And Esther appointed him over Haman's estate. Okay, now let's back up. Checking my little camera back there. Okay. And now let's move forward. I got my seatbelt on. I'm buckled in for safety. And now I'm moving forward on this word. Okay, and so this word that God is giving me Although there are some bumps in the road. I'm telling you, everything is prophetic. Everything I do. Sometimes I'm like, <laughs> can I just live? Okay. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. But so, now I'm watching for oncoming traffic, waiting in position for my time to move forward into the flow. And I got it. Yay. Woo. It's my time and I'm pushing with acceleration and I'm out there. I'm running the race. I'm running the race, y'all. And that, that is a prophetic word for exactly what everyone is gonna be encountering this week. Woo -hoo! Are you ready? Are y'all ready? Because now is the time you have been in position that God says, now I am putting you out there and you are running your race. It is time to get in action on those dreams, on those ideas. It is time to break free from the paradigm. It's time to break free. It's time to release that word of God that's been just just in your belly like Jonah in the belly of the whale. It, you, you have been ready to erupt that word. You have been ready to to speak it, to dare to speak your truth, to dare to show your difference, to dare to step out of the crowd and not be the ugly duckling, but reveal yourself as the swan. It is your time. This is your season. And so, and also this word is not just for like this week or whatever. It, it, the word of God that he gives me, it is eternal. So I'm going to share a secret with you with what I just uh, read to you about Queen Esther and King Xerxes and Ham Hamon and Mordecai, that story, that whole story in the Bible, this uh, scripture, scriptural story that everyone talks about does not have the word God is the only scripture in the Bible, the only story in the Bible that does not have the word God, literally is the story of salvation it literally is the story of salvation um, and I could break down I could break it down from the beginning to end but I will tell you the key players in that are King Xerxes represents Father God in heaven Mordecai represented Jesus Christ and Esther represents the Holy Spirit. And so this Trinity becomes the royal rulership over Haman, who represents Satan. And the Israelite people represent the children of God who are, who are fighting and hitting a war, you know, reluctantly against the spiritual enemy of Satan and all his minions and all the demonic strongholds in the world. So what is significant about this war and about this fight that Queen Esther and Mordecai herald is that one, they work together. Mordecai, like Christ, is the word. Mordecai gave the word to Esther to influence 
the king to give weapons of warfare to protect the people. Jesus Christ is the word that rides on the spirit of the breath, the spirit of living life. And his word coupled with the spirit because his word without the spirit would be dead. Aha, ayada bayete. Faith without works. Woo! And you all know what? God just dropped this in my spirit. Faith is Christ. The works is the power of the Holy Spirit. So without the power of the Holy Spirit, the word does not have life. The word Jesus Christ, your faith in Jesus Christ can only produce miracles and manifestation when you couple it with the power of the Holy Spirit. You need her influence. You need her peace. You need her righteousness. You need her courage. You need her truth. Did not Esther epitomize all of those things? She epitomized the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And who was, who did she replace? Eve, right? Vashti, the first wife that was pride, full of pride. Our ego, ourselves, uh, when we are focused on social distancing, when we are focused on the, the tangible things of the world, what people are going to say, what people are going to think. But the Holy Spirit sometimes will have you get on YouTube and say the most radical things, won't it? The Holy Spirit will have you praying in tongues and telling people since October that we are facing a war like they've never seen and helping them prepare and not being heard. But that's okay. Because you're here now. And you're listening now. And now, God, through me and others, there are many others, not just me, but God, through me, because I can only speak for me right now, is empowering you, empowering you with the blessing of his Ruach HaKodesh, with the blessing of his breath, with the blessing of eternal life, with the blessing of his peace through the power of the Holy Spirit and his word to produce and manifest healing and miracles from you. Yes, you. You have been called. If you're here in my video, you have been called to be royal, to stand up in power, prophetic pow, power, to overcome the enemy to win this war in the Holy Spirit. You, yes, you have been called as an ambassador of God. So today, it is time to press. Today, it is time to gird up with the soul armor of God. Today, it is time to decree out of your mouth, you are healed. You are abundant. God has overflowed his mantle upon you. And you walk in authority to trod on scorpions. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your righteousness. We have to pursue righteousness. We have to seek after his word. We have to seek after it like never before. There is so much depth in his word. There is so much truth there. We have to stop listening to what church as usual says. Okay? We have to stop listening to just pass down soliloquies of... Uh, motivational rhetoric that is empty because there is no Christ in its center. We have to stop 
being still and start waiting, which is an act of readiness. Being still, we listen, we are quiet, we meditate, but waiting on God is an act of readiness with a purpose, a preparation to exchange power, to partner up with the Lord Almighty, to co-create this world and this earth in the way that it was truly deemed to be. Be ye not conformed of this world. Let us renew it. Let us transform it. Starting with the mind of God, the heart of Christ, and the active force of the power of the Holy Spirit. So we must learn and partner with the Holy Spirit. We must worship the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is God. It's God's soul, God's essence. And we must take on her attributes and celebrate her within our lives. And as we empower ourselves with the attributes of our mother Holy Spirit as we empower her attributes the active force which is Jesus Christ in our hearts lights up with the flaming power of God and begins to manifest for us and then that signet ring that seal from God that Satan thought he took, which is the earth, that signet ring is the earth. That earth will be bequeathed unto our authority and rulership. And we will have the weapons of warfare to fight our enemy through the power of the word of God the breath of the Holy Spirit, her gifts, and his name. Because we'll wear the signet ring of his name on the earth. A new dawn has been heralded. And have you not come for such a time as this? So now it is time to turn the corner and do your part in bringing forth the light of peace and prosperity, wholeness, healing, and abundance to this world. As you stand in the power of the Holy Spirit, as you put on your armor of faith each day, as you light up the world with the light of Christ within you, you are mighty warriors. You are powerful. You are prophetic, overcoming, winning warriors in the Holy Spirit. You are on the PAL team. Let us press, get in position for our purpose and be proactive in proclaiming the gospel and the power of Jesus Christ our Lord and the Holy Spirit. The closer you get to the Holy Spirit, the more powerful you will operate in her gifts. The more powerful the light of Christ will lighten your day and uplift you and enrich you to manifest miracles. That is what is happening in my life. And I can tell you as a living testimony that it's true. All right, I love y'all to life. Remember, every time you give me a thumbs up, you're giving a thumbs up to the word of God. And it will be an active fruit, an active seed that germinates in your life. I decree a blessing over everyone that hits thumbs up. I decree, I decree a blessing 
over everyone that subscribes. And I thank you, Lord God, for you said a prof, a prophet's honor that a person shall receive in double when they honor the prophet. A prophet's reward, I'm sorry. A person shall receive in double when they honor a prophet. So when you give me a thumbs up, you're honoring me. And God is going to give you a double portion reward. So I love y'all to life. Y'all have a blessed and godful day.